What's up everybody, Kev here back again with another video for you. I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday and I got a really quick video that I think you're going to enjoy. This is a user requested video basically. A bunch of people in my comments are always asking me what's the difference between a Fire Stick, a Chromecast, a Roku, all that different stuff. So basically we're going to go over the gist of all of it and show you the main different key points and differences between. Right off the bat you're going to see that the Fire Stick is rocking a dual core and the Chromecast has a single core. The memory is one gig on the Fire Stick, 512 megabytes on the Chromecast, eight gigs total storage on the Fire Stick, two gigs on the Chromecast, and you have dual band versus single band, and then you have remote app voice remotes sold separately, but you have the voice app in it now. And the Chromecast doesn't have a remote at all. You're actually gonna have to use your phone or your media device or whatever you're using to mirror your stuff to the Chromecast. So that kind of sucks. But right off the bat from the features, you're gonna see that the Fire Stick extremely excels the power of the Chromecast, pretty much doubling it every single time. That is the first generation though. Now you have a newer generation and that is the Google Chromecast second generation and the Google Chromecast Ultra. And then you also have the Roku Streaming Stick and the Roku Express. Those are both pretty cool. They have a decent amount of apps and those do come with a remote. But once again, for the price, what is offered and what is given to you in your power, it's always gonna be the best to rock with the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And also from the site, you're going to see that the Chromecast does have, you know, tons of apps. It says unlimited entertainment. So you have tons of applications. It does work with your Google Chrome. I believe it's called the Google Home. But it's, you know, it's like the Amazon Echo Dot of the Google. And it has all the stuff that the other devices do offer. Once again, it still seems to fail because you're not able to go ahead and install apps from unknown sources, install different applications that we'd usually like. And the Fire TV usually has more options with the Fire TV, Fire TV Stick, the Fire TV Cube, and we know we now have the Fire TV Stick 4K. So basically, there's a brief description of the specs. I didn't want to go too tech crazy because these are just some basic users that just had some questions on what they should choose, whether it be a gift for the holidays, a present, or for themselves around their setup, what would be the best option for them money-wise and utility-wise for entertainment purposes. And right here, you can see there's all kinds of descriptions of the new processor with the Fire TV Stick. It's now at a quad core. And that's going to excel, of course, the other ones that are available, like the Roku and the Chromecast. Basically, if you're going to want to watch all the entertainment you want, install other applications from unknown sources, and you're going to want to just have the ultimate entertainment experience, I'm always going to recommend the Fire TV Stick over the Google Chromecast or the Roku. And that's just because it's more powerful it's got a bunch of more entertainment and you can install all the apps you want and there's just so many different things that you can do with it and it's the best bang for your buck overall. Right now at Target, I believe they're $24.99. You can also constantly get deals on Amazon for $24, $30. So it's just the best bang for your buck. And like I said, I didn't want to go too crazy into tech and get into breaking them down because this is just for basic users who wanted to know what to get. And that's a simple answer. So I hope this video did help. Do me that favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to stay tuned weekly, I drop content around tech, gaming, streaming, movies, so much more. So please stay tuned. I got a bunch of stuff that I know you're going to enjoy that will also help you out. So I'm going to check you out next time on the next video. This is Kev and I'm out.